Converge and Chelsea Wolf making collab album together? You know the artsy metal nerds are gonna cream themselves of this one. Greetings hard and heavy music fans. I'm Dante, you're watching The Heavy Haystack, and today I'm talking about the new album from Converge and Chelsea Wolf titled Blood Moon Eye. Or one, whatever. This isn't the first time these two acts have collaborated. They played together at the 2016 Roadburn Festival in the Netherlands, and due to their busy schedules, and then the whole plague thing the world has been dealing with, couldn't write and release music together until now in 2021. The record consists of Converge, Chelsea Wolfe and her longtime collaborator Ben Chisholm, and Steven Brodsky, ex-Converge bassist and known for bands like Caven, Mutoid Men, and Old Men Gloom. While all these acts are known for experimentation and pushing genre boundaries, they all differ pretty greatly. Brodsky's Caven has done everything from metalcore to alternative metal to post-grunge. Converge is best known for being a pioneer of metalcore sub-subgenre mathcore, with their fast and frantic yet technically skilled compositions. And Chelsea Wolfe came from lo-fi dark folk beginnings before adding in electronic and then doom metal flourishes to her sound, making for an eclectic body of work over the past decade. That's a lot of ingredients to work with, and a whole lot of cooks, which can make for an interestingly spicy soup, or a disjointed smorgasbord that spurns the palate, like pineapple on pizza. Ugh. The way the tracks play out on Blood Moon, each song seems to be led with the sound of one of the three main songwriting groups, which is then spiced up with elements from the other two. For example, the lead title track, Blood Moon, is an eight minute epic that has the gothic doom metal sound from Chelsea Wolfe, opening with a haunting piano line and soft vocal melodies from Brodsky and Converge's Jacob Bannon, before Wolfe's distinctive ghostly voice takes the lead. But as the song builds in tension, the Converge elements take over. Piercing atonal guitar accents and Bannon's tortured vocal shouts become the focus, before the tension is released again for the melodic goth doom to return. All of this before climaxing on a wall of sound with all instruments blurring at once, driven by a united guitar groove, the piano notes sounding like needles for tension, and united screams from Bannon and Brodsky, interspersed with haunting vocal lines from Wolf, making for a controlled chaos that feels crushing and weighty. It's a thing of beauty. Who would think you could mix refined goth rock with a guy that sounds like a wolverine with rabies? <laughs> On the flip side of the Blood Moon tracks dynamic, you have songs like Lord of Liars, which is like a more melodic and artsy converged track that gets a lot of unique flavor from Wolf. The track is an up-tempo rocker with a lot of math rock elements in the guitars, that good old weedly weedly stuff with Bannon using his distinctive shouty vocals. But in the verses, a simpler guitar groove is used which sounds like Queens of the Stone Age, probably riff work coming from Steven Brodsky. And these parts feature Wolf's vocals, but without the heavy dash of reverb often used on her voice. It's interesting hearing how her voice works on something more up-tempo from her slower doom or folk material. As for a track that sounds more led by Brodsky, Tongues Playing Dead is a good example. It's a fairly straightforward track composition-wise, with a groovy stoner rock riff at its center, somewhat similar to some Mutoid Man material. Vocally, Bannon takes the lead on this one, and it's interesting how well his voice works on so many different kinds of material. This song has a vibe that's also pretty upbeat, and could almost be described as happy and fun, and with the screams it gives the track a punk vibe that you could smile and bang your head to. Actually, I'm certain Brodsky wrote most of this one because if you're familiar with Wolf and Converge's music, happy isn't exactly in their musical vocabulary. Also in the mix, there's tracks that sound almost wholly unique to this project, sounding foreign to what any of the songwriting groups in Blood Moon are previously known for. The second single, Coil, is one example of this. Another slow build track, it starts with ominous finger-picked guitar and strings as the leading instruments, with all the collective's vocalists trading off softly melodic sung lines that build into soothing vocal harmonies for the chorus. Electric guitars come in for the final two-minute peak of the song, with driving drums and shouty vocals from Bannon and Brodsky, 
overall giving the song an atmospheric goth rock vibe. This whole record covers a lot of stylistic ground, crushingly heavy doom metal, upbeat stoner rock, orchestral gothic flourishes, atmospheric folk tracks, and the album has enough familiar elements from all of the musicians involved while remaining a unique and cohesive effort all on its own. And despite all the cooks in the kitchen, this album has nary a weak track on it. In fact, this is one of the strongest and most unique albums I've heard all year. And considering the one, or I, at the end of the album title, this collective seems to be looking to make more music together down the road, and I'll be anxiously waiting to hear more of what they can do. Converge and Chelsea Wolfe's Blood Moon 1 gets a 4.5 out of 5. What did you think of the album? What was your favorite song? Let me know down in the comments. Leave a like, and subscribe to the Heavy Haystack if you want to see more videos similar to this one. Peace, love, music, and I'll see y'all next time.